I saw a chick on red carpet. I said, tell me what you do. She said, I'm pretty. Pairs, click, titties, belly button too. I twerk for the gram. My videos get hella bunch of views. That's very fucking cool. But tell me what you do. It's disgusting. So they say, hoes, women. But why? Why is it disgusting? Because you're a hater. Men are haters that women. Young living every day. Giving it to you and cutting straight. Come on, man. Listen. If it's your first time watching my video and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, take a second, scroll down, click on the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel on the road to 1K subscribers. I appreciate that, y'all. Now, moving forward, man, today's video, man, is about Amber Rose. You know, she got triggered off of hearing, the, you know, the 304 word, you know. But let's dive into it. Like, all right, cool. I got I, I to gotta say, right, having no talent is the new talent. Right, mm -hmm. so it's like that's a fact, though. Mm -hmm. it is. Having no talent is the new talent. Bro, I gotta throw my why niggas away. getting famous just because they views piling. We'll get all the views violence, stupid new challenge, mm -hmm. whole lot of ignorant mm -hmm. dudes on the new hacking piling. algorithm. Yeah. Yeah. Chicks yeah. getting booked for 2000 because they post a nude style and think about it. Mm -hmm. Having ah. no talent, that's the new talent. Ah. I saw a bitch on red carpet. I said, Tell me what you do. She said, I'm pretty. I pierce my clip, my titties, my belly button too. I twerk for the gram. My videos get a hell of a bunch of views. That's Period. very fucking cool, but tell me what you do. It's yeah. disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Hoes winning be the image they pumping. Bitches getting famous or famous niggas they fucking. Period. When it's the nigga fault they getting caught. Yeah. End of discussion. Mm. You can't blame the hoes at the end of the day. Them bitches is hustling, <laughs> man. <Period. laughs> that was just quick something, but like that's the real shit though. Uh. So when you're not consistent, but when somebody, when you're not consistent and you be like, oh, I'm, I'm better than this person or better than that person. Let me but ask you a question. This other person is shot. Shot. No, 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 let me ask you a question. That's yeah. right, she's a guest host today, I forgot. What's, yeah. But what's the problem? As far as what? I like the way you said that too, like mm -hmm. <laughs> confrontational. Yes, I like it. <laughs> it's about to be a battle. What's yeah. the problem? Book, be good. No, no, I would, what do you mean? I'm from Harlem. No, I'm saying, but what's the problem? That nothing. <laughs> I ain't have a problem with none of that shit. I just report the news. Okay, but you just freestyling. I just, yeah, having no talent, but the new talent. But do you believe it? As, as having no talent is the new talent? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, but is it a problem? Mm. Is it a problem? Yeah. Like, do you feel some type of way? No, it's because I don't got nothing to do with me. Mm. It's okay. just what I see. Do we make some noise for yeah, that? Yeah, but no, but what? I'm saying like... Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you think about it, right, it's a I'm talent like, in itself, though. If having no talent is a talent, that's some talent. That's talent. Now you're talented. <laughs> like, you're talented at not being talented. That it's became kinda, a talent. Right. That became a talent. But, but like, like, who do you blame for that? Blame? That's a society's yeah. thing. Like, who do you blame for that? Like, it, yeah. is it is it the girl's problem or is it the consumer? Oh, this is not even just about it's females. The Guys, that, that was just... The, the woman uh, thing that I used, that was just one... One aspect. But of I just it. feel like guys should not like just never talk about women. Mm. As far as as far as everything. Like it should oh, never be a conversation. Oh. You said talk about them? Yeah, like as far as like like okay, let's say like me, Kim Kardashian, Jada, Ari. Like it should never be a conversation amongst men because it's like you have to then blame the consumer, right? Because these girls us are like known as like not having talent but like we make a lot of money well no i oh well no i don't even well you just showed me you was talented so that's kind of like yeah. no, no no i get it right but like so let's say I like, like this discussion keep no, it respectful this is a good discussion. everything respect no, 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 it's, yeah. respect. it's always respect it's always yeah. respect this, but, right? but this I mean, is why it's it should being be a addressed right. it's a conversation right. it should be i just feel like when it comes to men right yeah. and it's like hoes and all that right but like y'all stick y'all dick and everything but then you Whoa. call us hoes for the consumer loving us. They can still call the chicks hoes? Yeah. You just did. No. no I'm just you did I'm reporting on no. No. <laughs> no, you did in your freestyle. What I'm saying is hoes is what they right? That's what they say. Hoes. You just said hoes, right? No, everything you said I, that. Right, but that's not from me. He was saying it from a different I'm saying POV. it from that was the rhyme that was saying it from a different when I POV. Said, I said Oh, on the news, right? That was the beginning of the... What, I forgot what I said, too. It was like, I said something about the news, right? You see something on the news, wilding, like a new challenge on the news. Everything, this is being 
This is what's being reported. This is so not for me. Do you believe that girls that are on and popping, or like if they're fucking somebody and they get on and popping, are they hoes? Hell no. Well, ain't no hoes to me. I'm a hoe. Mm. What do you mean? Everybody's a uh, hoe. Yeah. Like, oh, wow. She got weird. Yeah. 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 Wait, you're well, a hoe for something. No, this, no, no, these no. I are appreciate words, that. Right? No, these I are words, right? These are words, right? So what's popping? But, but, but approved, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, those are derogatory labels, right? So like, think of like a white man calling you the n-word right yeah mm. those are like derogatory labels right but as people as people of color right we feel some type of way but when it comes to men and women a lot of men don't feel some type of way about the derogatory labels that are put on women especially black women or women of color so that's why i asked you when you said ho like what yeah. do you mean q charles hoes like that's what just a regular saying Hoes, niggas, bitches, my nigga. Like, that's just everything. But when you say saying. nigga, you say it in an endearing way, right? You not know? really sometimes. Sometimes, but it's not like a white <coughs> man would be saying it. It you wouldn't be the not. same thing. Like, what do you mean? But it wouldn't be the same thing, correct? Maybe. It would be more in an endearing way as far as, like, a black person saying it to another black person. So when men say hoes to women, it's in a derogatory way. It's not in a you, loving, you endearing so, way. I, I, yeah, not I not so. I, not all the time though. I don't I don't think so. It, not all the time. It's usually the energy that's put into like I, like I like niggas the be with their family and coming here. Like I'm pretty sure we all got family. A nigga pop like, nigga call their daughter. You hoes in here just I'm not cleaning up and shit like that. Niggas grandfathers do that shit. Like wait, he, who did that to their daughter? Niggas <laughs> grand, <laughs> granddad. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Granddad who? say whatever the fuck he uh, want to uh, say. Uh, I'm not, not going to hold half us. Uh, you have like. <laughs> I'm I not, just feel like like I'm, I'm I'm not trying to pick on you, but as a no, you can't. I nobody could pick on me. I, all I'm saying is, is like as I'm men, the aggressor all the time. No, I am. Yeah, no, I'm just telling you, I'm no, the aggressor. No, I am though. I'm a savage. Right, listen, Merry Christmas. No, but I am. Yo, you know it's real when he threw out his sign right I now. I know. This is yeah. I'm a Sagittarius too. You shit me. I just feel like men just should never say that. No, and I, I understand. Understand. Like I'm, yeah. you know, but like hoes. Do you talk about niggas in a derogatory way? Niggas ain't shit. Oh, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, it's like majority. It's like reparations. Though. It's like majority. It's like, like reparations. Like, it's like this. Me neither, but it's fire. I like it. Now, y'all peep that right there. She just got done saying men can't use the term H O E. But then after that, say ninjas ain't shit. Majority of them. But well, mass majority of men, 80 to 90% of men get overlooked by the mass majority of women. So when she's saying these terms about men or ninjas ain't shit, she's referring to that 10 or 20% of men that she only sees. So they ignore mass majority of guys that will give them a great opportunity, right? That will treat them well, that will respect them. And then they chase after the 10 or 20% of men that treat them like trash. Who fault is that? Self-accountability. That's all I got to say. But let's continue. If I, I like, say all, if I say yeah, all your teeth athletes, are like really like. I paid a lot of money up. for these. I know. <laughs> Yo, that shit's look good as shit. Thank I'm over you. here trying to be, trying to engage in some shit. Why would you keep looking like that? Yeah, yeah. All I'm what, saying is, is like, when we talk nah, about. You guys are all right. Hold yes. on, hold all on. Right, this is, this is a good Sonny, podcast. Sonny, she ain't you to shut the fuck up. So. <laughs> I, I love like Amber. I love Amber. When we, when we, when we talk here, about bro. stereotypes, Absolutely. right? We talk about majority. We're not talking about every single person in that stereotype, correct? Yeah, absolutely not. Right. So when men call women hoes, I right? agree with you. Just, so, just so you know. So okay, but if a white man calls himself the N word. Does it hurt as bad as a white man calling a black man the N word? I, I don't know. There's not even pain. Understand. There's not pain behind it. If a white man call himself the N word. Yeah. Like if a white boy calls another white boy the N word. Yeah. What pain is behind that? There's no pain behind that. He's like, okay. Right? But if a white man calls a black person the N word, Ooh. right? There's pain is behind the ER it. ER. Yeah, the ER. You know the ER is a big, right? big so, deal. Yeah, he so went hard on, ER hold on. Hold on. Yeah, hard But what ER. I'm saying is, is that when a man calls a woman a hoe, mm -hmm. it's very derogatory as 
like is it never it, endearment though is it never a term of endearment no because if you call yourself a hoe right you're the shit you get a lot of women if we're called a hoe right but you're saying there's no scenario where a man could call a woman a hoe and it's and it's, it's a term of endearment no no scenario yeah, at no. all now see the crazy part is how she can get triggered about men calling girls hoes right women got terms for men all the time Go listen to that old Megan Thee Stallion song she got with the baby, right? What'd she say? He my dog. He gonna sit down and listen. Women always complain about how men call women dogs or they want to treat them like pets, right? Oh, he won't, he won't, um, he won't submission. He won't cooperation. Oh, he won't a pet. Meanwhile, Megan Thee Stallion always emasculate men in her songs. What that song she said, he my dog. He gonna sit down and listen. That's a pet. That's okay though. But if we do that, we get canceled. Or that girl from New York got a song. What'd she say? That ninja is a munch. He gonna eat it up for lunch. That's emasculating man right there. So you talking about a man calling a woman the HOE, but you got girls coming out with songs emasculate men all the time. Mulatto got that one song. What'd she say? All my get money. Broke ninjas to the left, we don't want them. So you can call man broke. Other girls can say he's a munch, he eat it for lunch. Then another girl can say he my dog, he, he, he gonna sit down and listen. That's okay. But as soon as a man call a girl a 304, then they trigger. See what I'm saying, y'all? Absolute delusion. Get your passport, but let's continue. We're not 12 years old. Right. We know the difference. Mm. We know the difference of when you call somebody a hoe or if you're with somebody that's comfortable with that in a sexual situation. I just feel like men just shouldn't shouldn't have these derogatory labels towards women at all because it really doesn't matter about a woman's sexuality. And women shouldn't have derogatory terms towards men neither. So let's even out the playing field, but let's continue. It does not matter, right? Y'all know, like, for example, right? You can know who, let's say me, you can know who I dated, right? Well, right. But... You don't know my sexual history. Mm. So you can call me a hoe without knowing my sexual history at all. So it's just a derogatory label thrown at women to make us feel uncomfortable with who we are and our sexuality. See, make us feel comfortable with who we are within our sexuality. That is just a good way to justify being a 304. As a man, we're not telling women they can't do, listen, they can go out and do whatever they want to do, but there's consequence to your actions. You wear the you wear the 304 uniform, you're going to be perceived as a 304. That's just like if a guy is a Uber driver or he does um plumbing. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to all the people who do plumbing, Uber, whatever the case it might be, right? But you in a career field that's not really desirable to women. They're gonna perceive it as a lower value job, even though it may pay well. You know, the plumber, he might got his own plumbing business and make $250,000 a year, but she see it as lower budget because it doesn't sound like an attractive job, right? At the end of the day, a plumber going into it, no, like this, is, this isn't a highly desired field, but I'm getting the payout. So he understands he gonna take what come with it. Vice versa as a female, say you put on a 304 uniform, you're gonna be perceived as that. Even if you're not, there are some strippers that's probably not 304s. There are some girls who are doing OnlyFans who probably don't, go out there and have encounters with every guy however you're getting the money but the perception behind it is bad you got to take everything that come with it if you don't want to be perceived as that then don't put yourself in the 304 uniform but let's continue y'all so i just feel like men should like completely refrain from that like word. white people should refrain from the n-word 100 mm. percent if you love us if you love us as women you should just completely just not say those derogatory labels at all. And if you love us as men, you should not emasculate us in y'all music and say the derogatory terms that y'all use. Again, even out the playing field. But let's continue. I can, can I say something? Sure. <laughs> I feel like men can be hoes. The, but it's not the, white the same. White people can never be niggas. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly is what I'm telling you. So you're uh, right. So you just, but right. you just proved my point is what I'm exactly. saying, right? Mm -hmm. White people can never be niggas, right? 
but men can be hoes, but it doesn't have the same derogatory mm. feeling when you say it to a man versus a woman. We have to bear that. We have to feel I, I that. I feel like I think that's, that's all in them, though. Pardon me. I'm sorry. I think that's all within you, though. I think how, like, because, all right, say we just throw away hoe, right? The nigga, a nigga start just calling uh, a female, hey, what's up, you you do say bottle? Yeah, so then, then that'll be a she derogatory She's going to be fucked up now. Now it's like, now we, that's the new hoe. derogatory is derogatory, just don't do it. Right, but that's the thing. You put energy, we put power into words. No, you always. put power into right, words so do you. as a man. And no. Facts, like Loda Lux just said, so do you. Y'all derog y'all use derogatory terms towards men all the time. And then when men strike back, then y'all want to go ahead and play this woman role. But one minute you want to be equal to a guy, but you don't want to take the responsibility of what come with being a guy. And then you want to act like the female and then say, man, is bashing you when y'all doing the same thing to men. Hypocrites, man. Hypocrisy. But let's continue. Oh, you, a woman. you do that. We have to bear that. We have to live with that. You don't have to live with that. Hold on. So, uh, oh, everybody. Easiest drink champs I've ever done in my yeah. life. I'm shutting the fuck up. <laughs> titles will be titles. Right? No, no, no. Men <laughs> dictate that. <laughs> you guys dictate that. When you call a woman a hoe, we're less than. When we should be equal. Fem feminism means equality. That's all it means. It doesn't mean that we're superior. It doesn't mean that we hate men. We just want equality. So when you call us derogatory labels, we are then not equal. But see, that's the problem. Y'all want equality when it's beneficial for y'all. If you want to be equal to a man, you got to take all the responsibilities of being equal to a guy. I but Amber, I, no, I feel what you're saying. Because anybody can say something demeaning. Yes. Throw that at you. Yes. And and but the pop is you. So if for a that white man comes point, to you and calls you, you the N word, same? how are you gonna and feel? Why, why we keep bringing the white yeah. person? No, because he's trying to the point. There's no other derogatory label for men. Let me let me say that one more time. Let me say that one more time. Let me say that one more time. Let me say that one more Let me say that one more time. 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 Let me say that because I, I just don't want you to think I'm, I'm, I, I agree I with any of this. I'm with just... a whole bunch. That's innumerable. You, you can't call dude a bitch. You call, you call dude a bitch, he's going to go crazy. Clown, piece of shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's it the feel? energy that Yo, I'm for. It's centuries. It is centuries. You feel what I'm saying, though? No, if I, I don't. If I call somebody a hoe. What I'm telling you is you centuries of way, derogatory I labels. I never knew hoe was around for centuries. Because it's centuries of derogatory... Excuse me. You said... She said century of centuries of derogatory labels because a century of a lot of promiscuity women put themselves in positions to where they're labeled as 304s that is a personal problem since the beginning of time women go around sleep with one side and go sleep with the other team it's promiscuity that's a personal problem you go out there you want to have this sexual liberation but then you don't want to be judged for it men and women are different there's no justifying it but let's continue Battle rap. Right Centuries for right right Yo, I guess the same thing. I just feel like we should, if it don't apply, let it fly. That's what I feel like. That's like the, the end of be all. Like if you're not a hoe, then I'm so not a hoe. You ain't talking to me. Question. If, if you like... call me a hoe, what am I supposed to say to that? I mean, what do you mean? Say what you want. Uh, you can no, say what you want. No, Nobody else gonna do their shot, but take mine. Let's take a shot. Let's take a shot. Shot of my brother's birthday, man. Yeah, it's still my brother. And, my brother, man. and I would never call you a hoe. This is dead live on your birthday. Like, That's the baby one. But you'll call somebody else I would call you my home girl. Yo, can we agree to that's the close you, semi you, sort of you, disagree? Because I don't think people are disagreeing, anymore. really. Yeah. That's what, what I'm saying. What, hoe? Right, like, ho, I think we're on the same page, but on the wrong plane. Yeah. Yeah. It's deep, it's deep. Let's clear it out. Can you please try not to use that anymore? Absolutely. Like I'm not mad at you. I'm just, I'm trying to educate you how women feel. It really, really is. It really it is. So what about the way men feel? That's the thing. It's all about how women feel. You go out there, you choose the demographic of men you choose, then you overlook mass majority of guys, then you want to complain about it. All the other men, when they see who you are, they put you in a, a sex only category and use you as such. Then you want to be mad at men for that. Who fault is that? Excuse me, y'all don't care about women. Where, where about the care and concern about men and what men go through? See, it's all about how they feel and what they want. This is the world we live in in the United States. This is why I tell you guys, man, get y'all passport, man, but continue.
It's love. love. No, no, no. It's love. Yeah, like, yeah, listen, as a feminist, I, I never, I'm not mad at y'all because y'all were raised a certain way. All men were, right? We're All men are raised a certain way. But when did I say that, though? You said it in your freestyle, and, right. and it made me uncomfortable. <laughs> said, I'm saying, saying what people say that. But he what said it. He said, said it in people. a way. Like, I'm saying, uh, I'm he sa did. I'm saying people say this is what people say. That's not what he said. I heard what he I, said. Y'all can't gaslight me. I, I, no, we're not I, trying to gaslight you. I'm trying to. All I'm saying is. I literally said that. The reason why I keep bringing up white people using the N word with the hard E R at the end, right, is because there's pain behind it. And when you beautiful people, men, say that to women, there's pain behind it. Y'all got to stop doing that to us. And I will. It is okay for us to be and sexual beings. It's and okay for us. Will. To... Thank you. And I will. Merry Christmas, everybody. But I'm just going to ask. Please, listen, yeah. listen, I just want to say that I love right. women so much. We bring so much to this world. We do. bear children. Yeah. We love y'all so much. We love beautiful black men. Love we you. have y'all babies. And y'all don't y'all don't respect us. Like, just start oh, respecting do. us. No, no, we do. Oh, we do. Like, we put and y'all don't respect men neither. So that's what, like I said, that's even out the playing field. Y'all don't have no respect for men either. Let's continue. We put so much into black men and y'all don't respect us. Yeah, Just do. start. You, you don't think we respect us? Most yeah. Now, again, See, like I said earlier, us. majority, majority yeah. don't. Majority a don't. Black majority do respect you, but you only see the 10 to 20 percent of men who disrespect you when you overlook the 80 to 90 percent of men who do respect you. Again, that's a personal choice on preference of men. Let's continue. No Maybe y'all do. But majority don't, and y'all need respect. to start. Isaac, am that, I lying? Well, they need to start. Am I lying? Men or black men? Thank you. Am I lying? Women, am I lying? Damn. Thank I you. I let you wear my shack. She but never I'm mentioned black people. I'm telling y'all the I'm same thing. I'm not in it. You see how much we respect y'all? Yeah. Yeah. All y'all just said shit. We just like, we like, word. We don't even know what we agreed to. We just like, word. White people and Latinos are not part of this. Yeah, and we. She's right. I just don't want you coming out of here. We're just trying to, we're just trying to tell y'all, like, it's a, enough is enough. Like, enough is enough. We're trying, like, all like the girls are shaking their head. We're tired. Right. We want to have y'all back. We want to love you guys. But, like, enough is enough. Like, y'all got to stop. What? All right. Start respecting us. Like, are you, ready? you ready now? Oh, I need to know if you're talking about men, black men, and who in, 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 with respect to that. I, so let, let me ask you something, and, it, and it's, it's going to change the subject a little bit. Oh, okay. It's going to change the subject a little bit, but it's also going to um, be on the same lines to this subject. Every single every single time. You need a little something. Get out. I got that effect. I just I just want to. Now you were smoking. Because now that you, you, you brought it up, I wouldn't have brought it up. Okay, happy birthday, Every bro. single time. Um, 21 Savage gets into anything, right? Mm. Someone says something bad about him. Someone says something good about him. Someone says anything. He says something about Nas. Amber. People Sorry. put up this Amber. picture of... I'm still cool with that light? Ch 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 yes. <laughs> People put up this picture of 21 <coughs> Savage with him at the slut wall. Yes. And... I appreciate him to this day for that. Thank you, 21 Savage. I appreciate you to this day for that. Mm -hmm. That was a, a real man shit. Like, that was some real shit. For real. Yeah. Because um, if, if anybody's beefing with them, that's one of the very first pictures they put up, right? What? And they put... Um, that's him, corny. Him. Uh -oh. Why? For yeah, what? True, true, true. Him being around all the women? No, no. Him being the... Mm -hmm. um... No, he held a sign that said, I'm a hoe, too. Yeah. Because we were, him, we were dating... And that was my man, and we loved each other very much. And he supported me with my slut walk because he understood that my slut walk was for rape culture, sexual violence, right. derogatory labels, victim blaming, slut shaming, body shaming. Um, you know, and that was my man. He just looked out for me. So, like, how, how so you the, gave him this sign? Or no, he, he actually thought that that was a good idea. Wait, he made this sign? Don't tell me he made it. No, no, no. I, we had the sign made, but he was like, babe, I think it would be cool if I said I w I'm a hoe too because, you know, 
I slept with a lot of women. I, I've done a lot of shit in my life, and you know, 21. He, he's hey, a handsome, successful oh, person. <laughs> yeah, you, know? you was the first 21. Can, Can you, you do, do something for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, so he he didn't make the sign. He just picked the sign out. He said that he wanted that sign, and we got it. It was made. his idea. It was his idea. Yes. That's why. Um, and I appreciate him and love him for that to this day because he really he really looked out for me. He really went on a whim for the woman he loved in that moment. Let me let me say something, right? We get off this whole shit. Right yeah, now. I you guys, no, I no, 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 no. You guys are smart. You guys are smart poets, lyricists. You guys know what I'm talking about. It doesn't hold the same pain. That's my only argument. It does not hold the same pain. It feel like hurt when we say that. You were talking about a scenario, right? So I, I if I call you a hoe, i am like, ooh, you a hoe, right? Mm. You gonna be like, you gonna be like, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I get a lot of bitches. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I fuck, guess. I, I fuck not a really, lot. I don't know. Right? I'm gonna just say that because I think you want to fuck or something. So but I'm gonna go whatever the fuck you want to do. Any man, <laughs> any woman do some but, shit okay, like that to okay. a nigga, nigga gonna be like, yeah, yeah I mean, how yeah. she says it. Yeah, exactly. You can yeah. come out and you can come Ain't no okay. about to stop no opportunity to get no pussy. And listen, Yo, you're a so fucking what, hoe. Whoa, 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 you're a hoe. Well, maybe it depends on if I like that type of talk, though. It depends. Like, right. So, if you call me a hoe versus me call you a hoe, right? I would never. But, but, but I'm. But what I'm saying is, right? Right? Centuries of conditioning have taught women that mm. we have to over explain ourselves on why you're calling us that. Oh, I asked the girl. Yeah, your case in point. We talking about if Emma, you man. called these girls hoes, how would they feel? Mm. Yeah. Nah, depending on how I say it, though. No. Depending when. No. Nah. I'll look at you crazy. You're, you're, not come back. If you case know him, point, right? If, if you, you can't really be like, you no, my hoe. Man, I don't no, think we're going nowhere with this shit, bro. The difference is, right. hold on, if you're my man, you hey, that was if you're my man, and I'm like, when you really? fuck me, I like you to call me a hoe. Really? I'm giving you okay. permission. permission. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm into I, sexually, yeah. and this is what I like during privacy. sex. Right. That's it. Now, if somebody else is like, oh, she dancing on the speaker, she a fucking hoe. She want to She wanna fuck. How would you feel? Right, but I'm trying to get y'all. No, 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 I gotta listen to the ladies. Yeah, I'm going to listen to But wait, I'm just, I right. just don't want to. I'm not, me, I, I feel me, like I'm not making the, yeah, the, I think we're all the agreed, boundary man. to where I'm not saying any of this shit, though. Like, I think it's kind of like still becoming like a you versus me. Let me hold the mic. What you said in your freestyle was that women get on from fucking niggas, right? You said that in your freestyle. Yeah. And you want to know why. Not me. No. But you said that in your freestyle. No. What, what I said Can we replay was, it? Can we replay the freestyle? Well, no, I, like, can I, I, I could just say it. I, okay. <laughs> I could just say it. But I heard what you said. I That's said, why I felt some type of way. No, I said, we'll get all the views. Violence. Stupid new challenge. Whole lot of ignorant dudes on the news wildin'. Chicks book for 2000, post the new style and think about it. Having no talent, that's the new talent. I saw a chick on red carpet, I said, tell me what you do. She said, I'm pretty, pairs, clit, titties, belly button too. I twerk for the gram. My videos get hella bunch of views. That's very fucking cool. But tell me what you do. It's disgusting. So they say hoes women. But why? Why is it disgusting? Because you're a hater. Men are haters that women make money and go get booked for 2000 because they're fucking pretty. No. Don't hate the bitch. Hate the consumer. Am I, I was wrong? still going. No. But he's saying it from you, an observatory. Yeah. Like, and, but and you're angle. observing a bitch making money because right, so she's you ready pretty for this? and twerking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, oh, wait, 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 I'm, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let hold the on, bitch Amber. twerk hold and on, make Amber, her Amber, fucking money. Check this out, though. Check this out. Look. Am look, I tripping? Check this out. Where's the bitch now, what about the, now what about, the what about when you did that? What about the girl when she did that, right? So and got what? the 2000 so? right? For, for three months, right? So? But then she was going to get 10 million from this company, but then seeing her do that shit and said, nah, it's over Why now. is that your what business? That? Why is that your business? Stay because, out of women's because, because business. Because that's hurting your... 
No. Hurting who? Herself. It ain't you. Mind your business. It's hurting herself, though. But you get it? stop policing it's women's spicy. bodies. No, think, of, think about spicy. that. Stop. It would... So, Listen look, to me. You, it's not about no body. No, it's not about policing a body. Policing women's bodies. If she and wants to twerk so and look, make two thousand dollars. <laughs> So Worry would you not? Yourself. What if you're giving her advice? What if you know she can make ten million? She about to, right? Yeah, I ain't no she, man. What the no, fuck? no, look, no, she? <laughs> no, look, look. All right, I got a question. No, no, if you knew a woman was gonna make ten million <laughs> three months from then, if Who she the didn't, fuck did knows this, that? It, Who knows the future? A fortune teller? You ain't people, no fucking somebody that was gonna give her the ten million. How about that? Out, but my whole thing is, how what if you, you gonna pay the, the bills for the the past three months? She so don't you know what the fuck's gonna happen three months later? Some people sleep without nothing and don't conform. Cause they know what they gonna so get later. So niggas don't just homeless. take the quick bread. You want somebody to we be homeless. We never know the quick bread do not work. But why no, do no, you no. care about what a woman is doing? Mind your business. No, no but you why can't, are we caring about? Why? Yes, Cause I got a daughter. Hold on, hold on. Why? I got a daughter. Mind your business. Why? What the no. fuck, y'all? Oh, my daughter. What do you mean? That is wrong. That is wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. You say it don't care about women. Why you worried about me? You say it don't care about women. Mind your business. You just said. You just said you want us to care. Guys, right? don't want us Merry to care. Christmas, you just said you Saturday wanted us to Merry care. Merry Can you play this for me? Listen, y'all, man. It's the end of that, man. You know, it's a very, very long video. You know, if y'all want to watch the rest of it, man, go on Drink Champs and check that out. Dope podcast. But like she, you know what I'm saying? Like she was saying, uh, don't police, wild men policing women's bodies. Now, listen, she's saying men's policing women's bodies, right? You don't want us policing y'all bodies? Stop policing men's pockets then. Stop policing policing man's social status right you worry about how much money he make you worry about what his career field is you worried about his social um level of status stop policing that you see what i'm saying they can have concerns about your future but you're not supposed to have concern about their past men care about a woman's past women care about a man's future this is how it goes as a woman you can go out there and have those encounters with as many guys you want to you can blow the wick off your candle till your knees collapse. But as men, we do not have to accept this sexual liberty movement or promiscuity. We don't have to do that. Go out there, do whatever you want to do. But as a man to go out there and become, work hard to build himself up, we are not going to compromise our brand for a woman who wants to be sexually liberated. That's just our preference. Go out there, do what you want to do. But when there's no man on that level who want to take you serious and give you a last name, then you got to take what come with that. That's it. So listen, y'all, man. That's all I got to say about that one. Be on your purpose. Be on your grind. Get your money on point. Get your mind on point. Get your body on point. And last but not least, like I always say, get you a passport. Because once you see it, you can't unsee it. Listen. Like. Comment. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, man, on the road to 1K subscribers. The more I get from y'all, the more I can give y'all. Tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell another friend. Look, I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.